So, I made a video not too long ago titled How to Fix Minecraft Exit Code 1 Invalid Java Runtime Configuration. And as I'm recording this video, it is about at 20,000 views. So I thought I might need to make a follow-up because that video isn't entirely accurate. Um, basically, what I said in that video is you got to delete the .minecraft folder, which will delete all your worlds, all your mods. Will, it'll delete everything. People weren't too happy with the fact that they had to do that. So I've done more research, and I have found a couple more ways to actually fix it. Number one is if this is happening, it might be because one of the mods is not working. So what you can do is you'll need to figure out which mod is causing this by opening the .minecraft folder. And um, you open the .minecraft folder and then you open the mods folder. Now if you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Then you hit installations and then on your forge installations you should see a button that looks like a folder you click that and it'll bring you to your dot minecraft folder and you just scroll through and find your mods then what you can do is you can take out your mods one by one until you f find out which mod is causing that and then just delete the mod that is causing it another fix is to literally change the java runtime configuration literally change the runtime i don't know how to do that so if I can figure that out, I will definitely make another video on it. But the number one fix right now is to just find out which mod is causing it. Now, I was scrolling through the comments of that video and... There is a way to save your worlds without getting rid of that dot .minecraft file. Well, with still with getting rid of that dot .minecraft file, there is still a way to um, save your worlds. So if if there is a mod that let, let's say all your mods are working and you still can't figure out how to fix this, you and you don't want to delete the dot .minecraft folder because you don't want to lose your worlds. Well, I'll tell you that if you go to the dot minecraft folder and then you go to the saves folder highlight all your worlds right click on them hit copy and then move them over to a different folder and then delete the dot minecraft folder then go and then reopen the minecraft launcher reopen minecraft exit out of minecraft reopen the dot minecraft folder open the saves back again and then open the folder you pasted the worlds into copy them again and paste them back into the saves folder this should save them in theory i have not tested it but in theory this should save them also there's been another fix if you have both discrete and integrated graphics then there is a solution where you disable the integrated graphics in the device manager and use discrete GPU only. And that is another fix. So, thank you to everyone who commented on the video talking about the different fixes and stuff. Um, cause I clearly should have done more research and should have done that. So I'm f sorry about that. Also, a lot of people kept asking how to do this on Mac. It's very simple. All you got to do is open the Minecraft launcher, hit installations, hit that folder button, and then delete the dot Minecraft folder. It's very simple. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys did find this useful. If you want to watch the original video, I will link it in the description. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.